Welcome chess friends. I would like to begin this video by wishing you all a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. In today's chess video, I am going to share with you a fantastic chess opening trick to trap your opponent and ultimately win the game. This secret little trick is popularly called the Poison Pawn Trap which is used against the Sicilian defense played by Black. I will be showing you the exact step by step moves and the basic strategy and idea behind this trap. So stay tuned till the end and keep watching Chess Talk. Hello chess friends, it's me Jitendra Adwani. If this is your first time on this channel and you want to learn some cool chess tricks and become a better chess player, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, let's jump in right away. So let's start with the opening moves. You are playing as white. You start with the king's pawn opening, pawn e4. Your opponent plays pawn c5. This is the Sicilian defense. Then pawn d4 then d6 and then you play pawn to d5. These are some very common opening moves that you will see in your chess games. Now if you look at these open diagonals, the obvious strategy for black would be to attack on the queen side. Therefore the most natural move you will see from black here would be to bring out his queen and give check. You will respond by blocking with your bishop. Now black has no option but to move his queen back. Again the most natural move for black is to play his queen to b6 attacking this pawn on b2. You don't have to save your pawn, instead you have to sacrifice it. That's where the trap is. You will play knight to c3, inviting black to take the b2 pawn. This is the poison pawn we are talking about. If black falls for this trap and takes the b2 pawn, then he is gone. From here on, all moves are forced, so black cannot escape. Let me show you how. After queen captures, you will play your rook to b1, forcing the queen to go to a3, which is the only safe square left. Then you will play knight to b5, not only attacking the queen, but also threatening to fork the king and rook. Black has to save his queen. He has no other option. The queen can't go this way since there are no safe squares. He can't go to b4 or a5 because of the bishop. He can't go to a6 either because knight c7 can fork and capture the queen. So black basically has only two options. He can either capture the pawn on a2 or move the queen to a4. If he takes the pawn on a2, then after rook a1, white is left with no option except going to b2. Then after bishop to c3, the queen is trapped so he will be forced to take the rook. You will take the queen and you can win this easily. So going back, taking the a2 pawn is a bad idea. The other option in this position for black is to play queen a4. But if he plays this, you can play this killer move knight d6 check. Black is in a problem. If he captures with the pawn, then you can easily fork the king and queen by playing bishop b5 check and the queen is gone. So black can't take the knight. What other option does he have? The king can't go to d7 again because of the fork by the bishop. So he has only one move that is king to d8. But then again you have this beautiful move knight to c7 forking the king and the other rook this time. The black king has three options but as I told you earlier, he can't go to any of these white squares because of this check from the bishop. So basically he has only one option, that is king to c7. After this you can play bishop to f4 check. Now the king can't go to b6 because of the rook, he can't go to c6 because of this pawn. So the only logical option left for black is to block the check with his pawn. But this is even worse because this pawn can be captured en passant and it's again checked to black. Now black is left with no option. The d file is blocked by the queen and the b file is blocked by the rook. If he blocks with the bishop then queen d6 is checkmate and if he goes to c6 then knight d8 is checkmate. So that's how this trick works. Now what if you're playing as black? Look according to me the biggest mistake that black makes is in the opening. In this position, black should not play pawn d6. Even if he does not want to capture, then he can play pawn b6 instead. This way he is not only supporting the pawn on c5, but also opening up this beautiful diagonal for the bishop to attack in the center. Players with a higher rating would generally play pawn b6 to avoid this trap. But still I have seen many players fall for this trap. So try out this cool trick and let me know in the comments how it worked for you. That's it guys, hope you enjoyed this chess video. Don't forget to like this video if you find it useful. Click the round subscribe icon to watch more such chess videos. If you have any questions or video suggestions, post them in the comment section below. For some interesting chess tips, tricks and puzzles, you can like my Facebook page. Links are in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I shall see you in my next video.